D. So, so, so. Doing my job, my job. Doing, doing my job, my job. Doing. So, um, just doing my job. <laughs> All right, there you have it. They just announced the Indiana Pacers and the Houston Rockets are coming to Manila this October to play a preseason game at this same hardwood floor, the MOA Arena here in the Philippines. But before all of that, I'm gonna show them how to how Filipinos get down on the basketball court. Floater on the bank. I'm gonna show you whose fans were here with Mr. Miko Halili. He's a he's a big one of the big uh, basketball people here in the Philippines. And they just announced that the NBA is coming to Manila in October. Indiana Pacers, Houston Rockets, first time in history. Tell us what you thought about it, sir. Oh, it's huge. I mean, it's huge. And, and and I think people also have to look at this not just as a Philippine thing, but a regional thing. Mm -hmm. So it's huge for the Philippines. It's huge for Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, you know, Filipinos should be proud because it's it's the love of basketball of Filipinos that brought the NBA here mm -hmm. to Manila. First ever preseason season game in the Philippines. I think this is not sort of a finish line. It's more of a start. Mm -hmm. This is going to be the start of a lot of things mm -hmm. for the Philippines, for the region, for the NBA in Asia. You think uh, um, one of those things that it will lead up to is a Filipino playing in the NBA? We saw Japheth knocking on the doors. Uh, this past summer, you know what? Uh, you know what? I, I really believe that it's just a matter of time. I mm -hmm. I, I I do not have a timetable. I, I do not have predictive powers. But <laughs> because of the globalization of basketball of the NBA, I mean, there will come a time when uh, you know more more nationalities, more countries will be represented in the NBA, which has this very very open policy with regards to getting players from all over the globe. It's really just a matter of time. I mean, to, if any anyone says it's impossible for a Filipino to make it to the NBA, you know what? 30, 40 years ago, they, they thought it was impossible for a European to make it mm -hmm. to the NBA. Times are, are so different. Times change at, at, at a very, very fast rate. It's really just a matter of time before a Filipino joins the NBA. Definitely. And nobody thought the NBA would play in the Philippines too back in exactly, the day. Exactly. That's so, it. You know. Exactly. And then um, one last thing. Indiana Pacers, Houston Rockets, what excites you about these two teams? Because they're, they're, they're two of the most exciting teams in the NBA. You have the Indiana Pacers, one of the top three teams in the East. Uh, they will give Miami uh, a, a, a big challenge in the East. Uh, well, same with the, the New York Knicks. Mm -hmm. They have great up-and-coming players. You have Paul George, uh, you, you have Danny Granger. That's a very young, disciplined, exciting team. The Houston Rockets, two big brand names. The Beard, James mm -hmm. Harden, and of course, Jeremy Lin, who will be a big hit yep. when he comes here to Manila. Yep. All right, thank you, sir. Thanks, Miko. The source. Salamat. <laughs>